Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 8th going to the 14th of August. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you, okay? Let's have a little look, please, Spirit God, Capricorn this week. Thank you. Okay, and one more, please. Capricorn, you're always... <laughs> great thing is we have yin energy on the bottom of the deck which is all about love it's all about attracting from the place of love from um um a very attractive energetically attractive position which is about understanding that by doing things that you love to do you attract in more things that you love uh by loving yourself and giving love to the world and love to yourself you're attracting in actual unconditional love from other people too if that's something that you're wanting so it's just about understanding that when you're in this position of being happy doing things that make you happy more good things start to come towards you because your energy is attractive to not only people but the universe and that could be very well when trying to attract in maybe a specific someone who things didn't really go the right way in the past you could be attracting in another opportunity with this person for some of you who are interested this could also help you better understand your relationships with people if it's not a person you're trying to attract in. You could just be really learning how to uh, adapt with people and co-create with people as well. Um, now, in the cards that I see currently here, uh, Capricorn, I will say that there is no harm in asking for some help, okay? Because within this week, I feel like your energy has been really drained. Um, a leg up and think of both are kind of heavy energies, meaning that with this card, you're feeling as though maybe you don't want to go down the journey that you've been going down. Maybe you feel a little bit uh, defeated in this journey or less passionate about it. Um, I actually feel like there is a change coming through and there is a reason why you feel this way and it's not as bad as you think. It is helping you, one, learn a lesson, two... I feel like it's actually going to be helping you to experience more, meaning there is going to be an ending happening in a certain situation, even if it is internally, which is not a bad thing either. There's transformation coming through because we do have the regeneration card, which is about being pulled away from a certain situation, from a certain uh, belief, from a certain internal situation too, so that you can be protected from spirit because something is just not working for you anymore and you've had the intuition and you've you've known this for a little while now. You can feel this now in your energy because as much as you could carry on this journey, whenever the thinker card comes through, you're no longer passionate about this. Something is stopping you from going forward something's telling you to wait a second to think about this okay and maybe to allow the universe to lead you somewhere else with the leg up card okay to allow yourself to be guided because spirit at this time knows more about the journey ahead than what we do at this moment of time after the regeneration card of this change of this transformation the death card energy of inevitable change so this needed to happen we then have the why which is about discovering the answers so you feel drained you feel lost you feel as though you don't know what you want to do anymore or if you even want to carry on where it is that you're going or what you're doing um there is a reason behind this you will discover it after because you will then see the results that spirit is going to bring in for you and the opportunities that they'll bring in for you um because something whether it means that something's just not good enough for you whether there's just this toxic energy that's accumulating in a certain you know work environment a certain relationship certain dynamic whatever it is certain area even a situation around you too what's happening is there is this kind of well, trees don't do very well with lava. That's all I'm going to say. So now that this lava is kind of servicing, it's your time to leave. And sometimes this happens the hard way. Sometimes this happens the, the easy way where we kind of see it happen and then we do it. But for some of us, we kind of need to learn the hard way. Um, and this might happen out of your own, you know, you might be that instead of leaving a job that you don't really like, it ends up, you end up getting fired from it. You end up, something bigger happens and you have a falling out with a colleague and it completely puts you off or whatever. I'm just coming up with scenarios so that you understand that you had a feeling you wanted to leave a situation. You had a feeling something wasn't right for you. Uh, and this intuition of yours was right with this. Um, so you learn afterwards why that is. Let's pull some tarot cards out. The leg up card is about, again, asking for other people for advice, for help if you wish, if they're trustworthy. These are people who have gone down the roads that you have been down, so don't be afraid to ask people who do know already 
you know, what you're going through. This could even just be professionals. If this is emotional, then again, it would be about speaking to a counselor or a therapist of some kind or someone who knows a little bit about what you're going through because they've experienced it too. It's about reaching out because, you know, there's no shame in being the learner, sometimes Capricorn, and actually it can take a lot of weight off your shoulders by doing this and help you understand the situation a little bit better. But of course, only you can make this decision here. The thinker energy is being in your head a lot here, trying to understand why you feel a certain way. Uh, but then the regeneration happens anyway. So this is the transformation and the change um, because you're protected. And the four and a six is again that 10. So it is about change and endings so that new things can begin. We have a lot of fours and threes in your readings, okay? Let's get overall energy, please, for Capricorn. We have the five of pentacles, yeah, and the devil energy underneath, which is your energy here, Capricorn. Uh, but of course, this could be about fears, limitations, toxic people in your life. This is a time to cut that out. Five of pentacles is feeling really, really kind of uh, well, it's left out in the cold. Maybe you've been blocked by certain people. Maybe again, you did lose something or lose some finances or again, lose a job of some kind or things didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Now, the five of pentacles is very similar actually to the leg up card. So it's interesting that both of these are first cards out of each deck um, because it's about the charges right there. These people can go in and get some help that they need and seek advice and counsel. Uh, and a leg out card is just the same. There is something here that can that you can ask for help for. So it's about taking initiative and understanding that you aren't stuck in a situation. We can remove the chains, okay? As much as it feels horrible and as much as it's difficult, you have the strength, Capricorn. This is your card. You own the devil, basically, okay? You have the strength to come out of this situation successfully, but it is about not listening to um, this negative voice in your head that may tell you that you have to do it by yourself. You you know, you need to stay here because of your finances with the five of pentacles. It's almost like you're gonna be struggling either way because whatever you're in is not making you happy, relationship, job, whatever, situation. But moving out or doing something different or changing it, taking that chain off, that restriction off is also going to be challenging for you. However, it's better that you challenge yourself and remove limitations and move forward and try and ask for help and ask for advice and do something different than it is to stay where you are and still feel miserable or still feel like you're missing out, still feel like something's missing in general. Okay, so it really is about perspective. With this Piscean energy, especially when it comes down to an opportunity and actually gaining what you want. So the star card is about success. The star card is about fame and fortune, if that's what you're wanting. And if that is where your career is heading for a lot of you, you could definitely be in a spotlight of some kind or definitely be in high demand. Um, the Ace of Wands is about an opportunity coming in. And maybe your intuition is telling you about a new beginning in terms of, again, either location, workplace, or something that you're going to be passionate about, which is good. Because what I'm seeing here is that your passion is running really low. You don't really have a lot of energy. All right, so it just means that maybe you're not in the right thing right now. All right, let's see. What is this Ace of Wands about, this new beginning? We have the Three of Pentacles, which is all about building the foundations for something new and learning something new, which I like, actually. So some of you guys, maybe you um, might have even been avoiding a new plan, a new opportunity because you felt like it wasn't the right time to pursue this or because, again, I'm, now it feels like you're now inside this. So there's hard work ahead of you, which is building the foundations. Maybe you're having to kind of start all over. You're having to plan and that takes time. And this is what you're worried about. Maybe it's the timing of things, but this is about building the solid foundations. This is about getting better. This is about moving forward. This is about progress, which is good. And building the foundations properly this time and maybe even in your own terms for some of you as well. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a new idea that Spirit is telling you to pursue here, to build the foundations for, build the structure for. This is something that you've never done before. Here we go, because the death card is coming in. We have judgment here too. There is definitely a completion of a cycle. Something new is about to come into your life. Maybe this is why they're asking you to plan. Um, but really, again, you may not know why this happens or where it's going to lead you. But for some of you, maybe it's about having a backup of savings or maybe it is about um, getting yourself prepped or something. There's, listen to your intuition, Capricorn, because it's really going to tell you what's going to be happening here or at least what to prepare for, okay? 
Three of Pentacles, let's clarify this. Yeah, we have some, we have a very sex, <laughs> what did you say, Zeta? <laughs> uh, successful um, dynamic coming through. This could definitely be a teamwork, could definitely be a new contract coming through for you in terms of work. And this is something super, super rewarding. This is reaching uh, like, a, it's 11-11 here with the four of wands. It's a wish fulfillment, but not just that. It's like reaching a milestone. It's really hitting something that is worth celebrating. And of course, this is like a partying card as well. So I do see commitment coming through. Uh, this could even be maybe where you meet an, uh, a love interest uh, for those who are interested. Uh, this could also just be you might be going out celebrating something or just having fun and this is also where you might meet your potential life partner as well so um there's some very fated uh, events happening in your life capricorn so this is why maybe it feels like a really heavy time or a, a time where you're super confused or feeling a little bit lost or out of control yeah ten of swords because there's an ending coming through and this is that regeneration card because things have been unfair I feel like it's now time to get your due karma. I feel like maybe there has also been just some things holding you back as well. Limited beliefs, imposter syndrome, financial difficulties have been holding you back as well. This is saying that you're now due good karma. So it's going to be happening. Maybe not the way that you envisioned it. So just be patient with the universe and understanding um, when, the, when, when the lightning strikes, this is asking for you to not be pessimistic about it because it actually is going to lead towards your good karma, okay? I feel like this is all helping, well, it will be eventually leading you towards the right path, especially if you felt like you're on the wrong path here. And we have the, uh, we have the King of Cups coming through. Let's clarify this. Yeah, this is all about your emotions, uh, but this is, again, could even be commitment coming through from a water sign. Uh, this could be, you know, uh, well, definitely there's a lot of feelings here, but there might be some reluctancy from you or from someone else. Reluctancy? There might be some difficulty in opening up, opening that heart space or removing, you know, the feeling of being unworthy or not. This is not the right time. I don't want to be in this position when love comes into my life. You know, it always comes when you're not ready for it. Uh, usually it does come when you're at your best, but... I've known great relationships to blossom when both were kind of in a really dark patch and they end up coming out of it together. So this almost feels like one of those dynamics where you meet your match when you least expect it, but maybe you don't even want it. Um, the two of cups tried to come out just then, but this is a lifetime partner. We have the Hierophant here. This is something that could lead towards marriage. This is also about ascending, by the way. So your emotions and how you handle them are also going to be ascending. You're opening yourself up a little bit more to receiving from the universe. And that's exactly what this yin energy is all about. You're opening yourself up for possibilities and opportunities. And this is why it's coming in, okay? I thought something flipped. Okay, King of Cups again. Nope, nothing's flipping. <laughs> King of Cups. Thank you. There we go. Lifetime partner. This is great. If it's not in terms of relationships, then this could definitely be, again, doing something that you love to do, um, uh, committing yourself to it, feeling more worthy about it, ascending in this level, maybe even taking things in your own hands here with the uh, emperor energy, starting your own business, starting your own company. But this is just a, a person in control of their legacy. Both of these cards are really representing that as hard work and action towards pursuing a goal, pursuing a vision, pursuing a dream. This could be financially. This could definitely be in what you're invested in. This could also be in terms of your own business as well and um, the, the stability that you build or even in the home space. Whatever it is that you've dedicated your time and energy to and plan towards is really going to work out for you, okay? So this is all really good things. But I think we might need to be a bit more open to what spirit is bringing into your life and the changes that may come with it okay yeah don't focus on what's spilt okay we have the two cups here behind you which is not only about love and great connections uh, but in, in this case i feel like this is about kind of achieving a dream and really, really being in love with it. You know, I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming through, especially in terms of love. Instead of focusing on what hasn't worked in love, this is about crossing that fear and crossing that, you know, emotional barrier about opening up and trusting and, and getting wish fulfillment, meeting someone really, really special and unique. Could be an Aquarius, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but this is about uniqueness. This is about community. Meeting someone again in a very extraordinary way and fate. 
this was fate this was written in the stars this is what it feels like with the high priestess this was something that spirit knew was gonna happen it just feels like blessings are coming but again don't be pessimistic <laughs> for those of you out there don't worry too much about what hasn't worked out because that doesn't dictate what's going to be happening in your future okay um i feel like this is about focusing more about uh what you still do have and what you still can build from that okay not what you've lost of course it's a shame I feel like there is a reason why you look back with the five of cups because something was disappointing something was upsetting to you something did ruin your happiness and maybe you know you did lose passion for something or lose emotions for something but the two of cups says there is still a chance here to yeah push forward to achieve what it is that you want with what you want okay it may feel like it's taking time maybe it feels like your journey to, is taking longer but spirit says they would rather you take your time with it so that you can move across this journey st stable <laughs> Then if you kind of try to rush ahead and, and you know missed over details and stuff slow and steady does win the race in this example okay capricorn and this is your energy it's about paying attention to what you invest in with you know immaculate details that you can then bathe in the luxuries of it after and you will especially with that ten of pentacles too so it's all good all good all right let's see let's get you out some love cards capricorn we have religious factors, so this is definitely a time of where you are really focusing a lot more on your own belief system. Maybe, maybe meeting like-minded people. You have to stay optimistic about your love life. We also have deception, and this is where I felt like uh, we are really focusing or maybe hypervigilating, uh, hypervigilating, yeah? on small details in love and, and really running away from it because of you have been deceived in the past so you've been through if it's not deception and you've been through immaculate pain uh, in the past when it comes down to love and i feel like you're scared and this could be where you're deceiving yourself and talking yourself out of possibilities and opportunities for you um that could end up being really really good of course it's really important to listen to your intuition but pay attention to what is your intuition and what is a fear okay uh because they do sound really similar in our heads one more for capricorn we have flirt and true love coming through so yeah this says extend your light-hearted energy to others so it's about trusting more we have romantic feelings so yeah you are attracting in love and this is uh definitely something that spirit is asking for you to go towards because they are a soulmate look at this let go of control issues <laughs> give your relationship a chance okay i just feel like there is some past wounds that are affecting this and uh because something may have been outside of your control in the past you're really worried about putting yourself in a similar position this past is not the same okay just be uh, mindful of that don't rush in anything okay as we like to say slow and steady does win the race in this and this card is all about patience and balance okay and healing and taking that time out as a pit stop don't be afraid to do that so that you can really work out whether this is something that you want to build with or or not okay um so let's pull you out some tea leaf tarot and see what random messages we have for you capricorn Oh, there's so many. We're going to take the first ones that came out for you. Okay. So we have mountain, major challenge to overcome. So this is what we've been talking about. We also have caterpillar. I don't remember who else had this, but this is beautiful because caterpillars, as you may know, you know, take some time out, put themselves in a bit of a cocoon or a chrysalis, whatever you want to call it. They turn their whole body into a liquid and rebuild themselves into this butterfly which of course is very different from a caterpillar you have more you know you have wings you can fly you've got more opportunities that you can you know take and, and do you can see more as a butterfly than when you're a caterpillar so what this is saying here is that you are becoming a better version of yourself there is an upgrade happening within you and externally from you when it does happen um, but this is a challenge to overcome is your ability to believe in yourself and your ability to overcome um your current situation which the caterpillar says says <laughs> the caterpillar says things will not always be this way a change is coming so you have been climbing up this mountain for a very long time up at the top you're going to take a little bit of a break maybe this is where the pit stop is and you're going to fly all the way down so don't you worry my angels you're becoming completely different you're upgrading you are transforming absolutely 
uh, and there's a lot of good coming into your life but it's just a really difficult phase that you're going through but don't let that dishearten you from your future okay because there's a lot coming in that's going to be good for you okay I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Personal readings are now open. Pay attention though. I do not DM on Instagram uh, asking for people to buy these personal readings. They are only ever sold on my website. I only have one Instagram account. It's official uh, It's spelled correctly. So anything different than that is not me. Uh, if my comments, if I'm replying to comments, if it's not got a tick next to uh, my name then it's not me either um so just be aware of this i um, i closed them because of these scammers but because i've had a lot of uh emails asking for personal readings to come back i'm opening them again but just please be aware uh that there are people out there who are trying to intimate well, Im imitate <laughs> imitate um me so just be aware of that i don't want you guys to feed into these nasty people okay just pay attention um there is a limited amount so if they are sold out and don't worry every sunday i'm going to restock them as well okay so that's linked down below i love you guys i wish you all the best and i will see you guys next time